Hi there everyone, welcome to your yoga for runners and cyclists September routine. Um, we're going to do something slightly different this week. We're going to work only from one position, but we're going to create four moves from that one position. So as always, all that you need is a mat or some space to work in, um, and we shall get going. So, we're going to turn your left foot behind you. So to begin with, this might feel like you're a little bit unstable and you want to lean over to the side. If that's the case, you can pop a cushion or a block just underneath the bum and it'll lift you up and kind of help you stay a little bit more level. But all we're looking to do, your back foot is just turned out to the side for now. Front foot is pressed into the thigh. We're coming up tall and we're going to twist away from that back foot. So hand behind you. Other hand comes onto the opposite knee and we turn to look behind. Now whilst we're doing this, we're keeping the opposite hip down. So as you're looking at me, this is going to be my left hip, left foot kind of turned up behind. Keep the left hip down, right hand on the knee and really rotate. So we want to use the hand behind you to stay up nice and tall. Hand on the knee draws you around a little bit further. When we're ready to move on to the next phase, all we're going to do is allow your hip to lift a little bit higher. So as we do that, you're going to slide the hand that's behind you a little further back. So that's right hand for me at the moment, they're going back. Let the left hip lift. And that now changes the stretch. Previously, it was something into the lower back and the sides. Now as you've lifted the hip, it's into the thigh and up into the very top of the leg, hip flex muscles. So we're leaning back, the rotation has got even more. Good, and then we can release again when you're ready. So we come back to being in that kind of upright seated position. The legs haven't moved now, they're right back where they were. Take the left hand out to the side. Right hand on the hip for now. Slide the hand away. Reach that right hand up to the ceiling and then let it just bend over the head. We want to make sure that hand stays behind the head or at least over the top of it rather than dropping in the front, okay? That's why I've taken it to the hip first and then over the top. And what we're looking to do now is breathe nice and deep into the side muscles here, the ribs on your, your right side will be. And this hand's just supporting us. It's all that's going on there. And then again, when you're ready, bring yourself back up. So that's the first two moves done from here, a rotation and a side bend. We're gonna now lean forwards. So place the hands on the floor. Walk the body forward. We want to get as low as we can without really letting the hips lift too high. They will need to lift a little, but try not to let them go too high. We're getting down nice and low. And there's a few things that might be stretching. It could be into the hips, it could be into the lower back, it could be the inner thigh. It all depends on where you're tightest. and then bring yourself back up when you're ready. The final one, I'm just gonna turn the side on for you, but you can say exactly where you are. So the legs are in exactly the same position. The hands will go out behind us, and we're gonna lean back. You're gonna go back as far as is comfortable for you. So that might be that you can lean back with your head flat on the floor, you might want to stay in the middle here onto your forearms, or you might prefer to stay up high with your hands on the floor. Either way, whichever one we go for, keep the knee on the floor. This knee's not leaving the floor at all. So we lean back as far as we can, and we get a nice stretch down this thigh, coming right up into the hip. And the lower you go, the deeper that stretch becomes. And then again, when you are ready, 
Just bring yourself back out of that. Okay, so obviously you're going to take your time going through those, generally holding those stretches maybe 30 seconds or so, perhaps a little bit longer if you want to get a bit more of a developmental stretch, but have some fun with them. Have a go on the other side, see how the legs compare, and I shall see you next month. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.